What's up guys, I just got off the tournament mode for Smash Bros. Wii U and you know, tournament mode is relatively new and it's pretty fun. It is pretty fun. The only thing that sucks is you can't really set up your own. You can set up your own but they can't be 1v1 which is really bad in my opinion and I hope they patch it up soon. But anyways, it's still fun, a lot of fun, you know. Um, I've actually got some really competitive players on here so it's not absolute, you know, for glory garbage. But we are looking for 1v1 for glory and um, I've joined about maybe five or six tournaments so far since it's been out and it's only been out for like a week so I won about I think I won two of them this is my second one and uh, yeah so I was zero to Samish she's one of my mains and I managed to win so as you can see the bracket I defeated a Jigglypuff and then I defeated Lucario and then I defeated Midnight and against Lucario the Lucario guy which is SD this Jigglypuff person was barely even fighting and the Meta Knight he was decent but he couldn't handle the pressure and this is a custom for glory tournament so you can use whatever customs you want so you can bring stat boosts and stuff and like broken you can bring like sonic with 200 plus speed and it's fine but of course i don't use that so i just use my regular zeus samus well not regular but i use the custom one with the um i'm not i'm not exactly sure what custom it is but um it's the green laser one and it's faster than the regular paralyzer gun but uh it's faster but it gives less damage it doesn't paralyze but i just decided to give it a try and I ended up going to Grand Finals, and I I fought complete ass in Grand Finals. This dude. This dude, YN Jeffrey. Whatever you are, you, you came straight out of 4 Glory. <laughs> we got 4 Glory Dark Pits. You know, people say 4 Glory Sonic, 4 Glory this, but there's 4 Glory for everything, because there's rollers everywhere. More rolls at the bakery. So we're going to watch this replay and just show you what kind of garbage you see in Grand Finals. And I'm, I'm not even sure how this man got to even got the grand finals doing this strategy which is really annoying and just frustrating and can get a lot of people out of their game but you know I have a lot of experience with rollers because of, I play full glory like a lot so I kind of know what to do with them except they are really annoying look at this guy he's just air dodging every time he jumps and I guess mean, this is a I've seen this before with other characters that have multiple jumps like Meta Knight I've seen people just air dodge every time they jump same with Kirby and look at all the rolls more rolls at the bakery dude this man he like he loves the bakery right now but anyways, I'm pressuring him. I don't want him to be rolling because rollers hate aerial combat. You have to keep that in mind. But I did notice that uh, later on in the match that this Dark Pit does have stat boosters. And that's what I was scared about going into the tournament. Because usually I aim for, you know, a regular tournament without custom. You know, just a regular one. So it isn't... Some people have some broken customs. But luckily, like the first three rounds, nobody really had anything broken. Except for that Greninja had like speed probably plus 50 or something. But... This Dark Pit has enhanced power. See, it almost killed me. I don't think it should do that much knockback. But as you can see, he's just rolling around the stage. I'm trying to feel him out. And this is the type of garbage I see on Full Glory almost every day. Or every time I play it. There's a lot of bad players, but... I mean, they think... Well, look at this. He's just aired. Look at this. And I played Kid Gross Uprising. The Dark Pit isn't that annoying in that game, so... Like, they, look at this roll. Look at, it, look at him rolling across the stage. And look, you might say, oh, well, you're losing. Like, oh, it's a really close match. Well, that's because there is a little lag. And that's why rolling is so good in this game, you know? Because you can just roll everywhere. And there's, especially Little Mac and people that have fast rolls, like Dark Pit. Like, if this was Samus, I would be able to punish it much easier at Link, you know? Because they have slower rolls. So he gets the down smash. I do die. But, you know, you don't want to lose your your uh, focus against rollers because look at this guy he's just jumping around like this is ass this is garbage <laughs> he's hot garbage in grand finals guys you know so anyways he goes to the down air you know look at that it did 18 damage there's no way it did that much look he lives at 140 so he definitely has a strength boost and a defense boost because this is custom for glory and i ended up just joining this one because there was no other tournaments open that i wanted to join and the regular um 1v1 for glory was closed because i just joined that one uh before this one and i won with marth so Anyways, I'm just feeling, look at this, he's not dead at 178, he should have been dead by now, the, to that up air. So, you know, he's just rolling everywhere, like, this is Roll City, I do get the F smash, and kill him finally. So, for any of you guys that, you know, want to go to tournament mode, and you just gotta make sure you're ready for this cheese, because, you know, aspiring competitive players, you know, 4 Glory is the place to go, because there's a lot of good players on there, but there's also a lot of bad players. So I'm just kind of trying to read him, you know, I know he's going to roll somewhere, but I'm not really getting too much out of these re these rolls. Like, look, I'm kind of reading him, I get the B reverse, the jab, you know, going slow. I get the read right there, read him rolling past me, so I just grab the other way. And uh, he look, he's just rolling towards me, like, that's a, guys, never roll towards your opponent. You can just get easily punished, and 
don't don't do that as a strategy. But anyways, the time is going. He's just running away because he thinks he won because I have higher damage. But no, that's not how it works. It works like this. <laughs> I ended up winning even though I had higher percentage because it's really stupid in tournament mode how it's only three minutes. So you're gonna have a ton of timeouts. Like pretty much all the rounds or most of the rounds I played were timeouts. So I mean I understand they're trying to make it fast, but still that's not enough time, you know. And there's no sudden death either. So the person wins by um the person who wins is the person who has more percent um as you can see i had more percent but overall percent during both stocks see i gave more damage i de i gave 254 percent to 208 taken i took 208 so i gave more damage than i took so that's why i won i'm pretty sure that's how it works i'm pretty sure I, if i'm wrong correct me i'm pretty sure that's how it works because one guy he taunted and he thought he won the match because i was I, I had like I was at like 120, but I ended up winning because I gave more damage to him overall. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. But tournament mode, I mean, it's not as bad as people think. Just hopefully they make it a lot better. I mean, it's still cool. Like it's still really cool, guys. It's still a really cool feature that, um, you know, I join sometimes in case I'm tired of four glory. You know, and I don't think it gives you four glory losses on your records. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Even if it, the tournament does say four glory, so I'm pretty sure. I also joined some regular attorneys, but of course these were just free for alls, and I couldn't really get a one v one in here because you can't, which really sucks. But yeah, because I don't think I don't think it adds to your four glory records. I don't think it does. Yeah, yeah, because last time I played actual four glory, I got I was at ninety percent win rate. So, yeah. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, little video. I just decided to make about it because like, you know. Just because someone's rolling and it's like really frustrating and they're just being annoying. And like the whole tournament I played through was like, well the one before this when I used Marth. Like I battled everybody with projectiles. I battled a campy villager. I fought a, a campy Wii Fit trainer. I fought a campy um, Mega Man. And then at the end I fought Lucas. Which Lucas isn't that bad. But they're just campy all around. And if you're battling like annoying strategies, there's ways to get around them. Like I just did there. You just gotta pressure the rolling and read the rolls, you know. Because if you know they're going to go somewhere, you know, it's 50-50 basically. But if you understand their habits, you, you should be able to capitalize on that. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.